Welcome to our Dynamics 365 for Talent series. We're going to look at compensation plans. Now there are two types of compensation plan in talent, fixed and variable. In this video we'll see how to create a fixed compensation plan. So we start in our compensation management workspace and we can go directly through the tile to fixed compensation plans and also through links, fixed compensation plans. We'll click new and we are going to call this Holo Serve because it is for augmented reality remote service, which we'll put in the description. In the general fast tab, we have the effective and expiration dates, which are self explanatory, so we shall leave them as they are. In the type, we have a choice of three preset, grade, band or step, which we cover in more detail in another video. So for now, I'm going to choose band. And the recommendation allowed setting, if yes, enables overrides of the calculated results of an automatic compensation process, such as an annual increase. So this will allow pay recommendations outside the guideline amounts. And we set in the out of range tolerance if there are any restrictions on that. Hard will automatically adjust low or high recommendations to comply with the range minimum and maximums. Whereas soft will just give you a warning message that the pay rate is outside the minimum or maximum. Uh, none, obviously no restrictions or warnings. The higher rule provides the basis of the merit increase. So if we select none, this means the employee receives a full merit increase even if they haven't been working for the full period. Whereas percent means the employee receives a merit increase calculated from the higher date up to the ending date used in the cycle set up for the calculation. Now currency, we'll just put US dollar and for the pay rate we're going to choose hourly. Here we notice these two fields are not active so we'll come back to those. First we need to set up a compensation structure which we will be able to do once we save and now we can set up compensation. We have three options here uh, to set up a completely new compensation matrix, to create one from an existing matrix or simply to use an existing matrix. We'll create from an existing, we'll choose uh, a grid which we're going to base our new matrix on and leave the name the same. Click OK, this will take us to our compensation structure. Now we want to modify this slightly, so we'll select everything and select mass change. Now we can uh, set up a percentage adjustment or a flat amount. So we'll leave that and we'll create a 10% adjustment and we can apply this to every level here simply by clicking uh, apply to grid everything's changed or uh, we can uh, choose to apply a percentage simply to a set reference point such as the midpoint and when we apply to grid it will only apply to this column here. So let's go back. Now returning to our plan we see we now have our compensation structure here and we can now set up a control point. For example the midpoint which will be used in the range utilization matrix which in short this allows employees who are paid lower in their range to get higher percentage increases than employees who are paid higher in the range. So over time 
the process moves employees towards the control point. Now let's go back to our compensation management workspace and here we have our fixed compensation plan. 